I'm Brian Priedis. I'm Eric Goodyear. And we play in pairs, and these are our Sisters in Christ guest picks. All right. First guest pick. Jewel, Pieces of You. My sister had this when we were growing up, and it's just very sentimental, but it's uh, all the cheesy 90s love songs you can love. Another tape, Blondie. I've just really been loving Blondie lately, and uh, they've just got a great discography, and I just recommend you to check out all their great songs. Uh, you know, they kind of like to walk the line of, you know, being almost like a start, like one of the first kind of punk bands for the time, but also kind of disco-y, and you know, from there they kind of just evolved into the rock band they are, you know, but really good stuff. Next is Hi. Curtains. No, this is the split. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an idiot. Uh, but I'm just really attached to this high side because we went on tour with them and I saw the song Brain Bod uh, evolve and become what the record version is and everything. But also uh, the song Find It is a song they've been playing since they've been a band and it's a newer recording of it. And it's just, uh, it's just really cool to see what these guys keep doing and you know they're really good friends of ours and I'm just a really big fan so I'm throwing that out there and then we got uh, Vice Principals the soundtrack I just found this and I thought it's nuts and uh, if you've ever seen this show it's really really good only have two seasons and the whole premise of the show is pretty crazy uh, Danny McBride Danny McBride's in it and uh, it's wild in the sense that it's about a principal retiring and these two vice principals up for the spot to become principal. And in the show, it all takes place in a high school. But as the show goes, you realize that the adults are more of the kids and the kids are actually the adults. So I just think the symbolism and all that's pretty cool. And then this is uh, something that if I would have found when I was 15, I'd be uh, flipping out uh, wearing my bowler hat back in the day as Brian <laughs> Funk said earlier but uh, yeah no uh, this is just a really uh, you know got some really great classic songs Junkies Running Dry Here We Go Again Hoboken Yelling In My Ear Sleep Long Healthy Body Healthy Mind it's great you know and uh, it's also just the artwork on this is just so cool uh, I've just always really loved this and my final pick is uh, Gorilla Biscuits only because I think if you're ever trying to get into some good straight edge hardcore, they're a really awesome band, you know, all bangers. We've gotten the pleasure to meet certain members of this band and our touring and everything. And I just think this record's great. And I just really highly recommend it for anybody who just wants to get into some good classic hardcore, 80s hardcore. Okay, my first pick is How to Treat the Ones You Love by Donovan Wolfington. It's my favorite local band of all time. Uh, I think it's their best record. Uh, I mean, this band just kind of pushed the limits of what, like, punk and pop punk can be, I think, as far as bands in New Orleans go. Uh, and just every single song on this record is incredible. Uh, rest in peace, Donovan Wolfington. Uh, next up, Shorter, Faster, Louder by Kid Dynamite, one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, I'd have to say, as far as pairs goes, this is probably at least my number one influence writing. Uh, just, you know, every song is fast as fuck. The melodies are awesome. Uh, sorry. Uh, what else? Uh, this isn't the one with the covers, I don't think. That's the other. Or wait, maybe it is. I don't know. They got another one with a bunch of covers on it that's pretty sick, too. And then... Uh, my third one is Externalities by the Flaming Tsunamis. Jesus Christ. Uh, this album was supposed to come out at a certain time and then uh, didn't come out for like three years, but it was worth the wait because this album is incredible. Uh, one of the heaviest records I've ever heard. Uh, and sometimes people call them a ska band, but they're, they evolved to be more of a metal band uh, in the end. And... Uh, there's not many metal and ska bands out there, and this is a band I saw a lot growing up and uh, kind of shaped me as a musician, too. So if you never checked it out, Flaming Tsunamis Externalities. All right, thanks. Bye. See ya.